Hey guys, Stereo Rob here. Just uh, recently completed the uh, cosmetic restoration of this uh, early 1960s Montgomery Ward's airline console stereo with a 6PQ5. It's single-ended. It has a three-way speaker system in it. And the thing actually cleaned up a heck of a lot better than I expected. It's amazing what a little uh, spit shine can do. This thing was absolutely just filthily coated in nicotine stains and dirt and dust stains and everything else, but it actually came out pretty nice. And I'm actually running it through a, a CD player right now, so let's go ahead and give it a listen, shall we? Anyways, to kind of give you an idea of what I did here, I uh, completely cleaned the insides. I pulled out the chassis, which is single-ended. It's just a receiver that slips right into the uh, console. I cleaned all of it, uh, cleaned the tubes. It has surprisingly all of its original Montgomery Ward Airline tubes in it. Um, date codes on the speakers, some people are saying they're from about 1962. Some are saying 63. I'm not positive. I don't know if you can get a good look at them or not, but uh, that'll give you an idea of what they are. Um, besides that, it's a nice little console. It sounds great. Uh, it's happy. It's healthy. Tubes aren't red plating. Nothing's getting too warm or anything. Nothing's shocking me. And uh, it actually came out uh, quite nice. Uh, there's uh, no auxiliary input, so I just uh, borrowed it off of the uh, the phono line, and I'm using that to feed it through a single uh, single CD player. So, uh, but uh, yeah, really decent. Uh, Montgomery Ward stuff was really overlooked. And a lot of people scorn on it because of the name and who makes it, but in all honesty, they build a pretty nice quality product. The wood's really solid, the components inside are meant to last, they're decent, really nice finish on pretty much everything, um, and they're somewhat forgotten. So uh, next time you see a Montgomery Ward's airline console stereo, and if you're in the market for a console stereo or looking for a console stereo, don't be so quick to pass judgment and walk past these. They are worth a second look. I would probably say 85% of them are have really surprised me of how well they sound. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Yeah, it's funny, this thing was so bad when I got it, I didn't even know until I started to clean it that it actually has silver tipped feet on it. You know, it's here you can actually kind of see the chrome tip on the feet. So little details and things like that really make these special. Even uh, like Magnavox and some of the higher end names didn't really go to that extent to try to uh, give themselves more individual personality when it comes to their, uh, their furnishings. So since restoration, over the last uh, hour or so, I've, I've spent a little bit of time just listening to different genres of music on this thing. You know, I played some uh, classic rock, classical, more instrumental stuff. I played some hip hop and techno, uh, just a couple different genres and different equalization curves. And I will say this, uh, music of its era, you know, 1960s, especially psychedelic kind of garage rock stuff, it sounds wonderful. On old jazz, it sounds good. But on rap music and, you know, gangster bass and stuff like that, that is just, that's not her world. Uh, she was never meant to, to play that kind of music. The frequency response, she doesn't have the frequency response for that. And it's just, uh, that's not, uh, that's not what this thing was made for at all. So, but for other genres and other music, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, especially, especially music of its era. <laughs> Nice and bright, good clean sounding, very, very solid, especially when against the wall it sounds nice. But uh, really anything that's uh, that's rap or techno, anything like that, this isn't going to work on this system, that's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, hope you enjoyed the pointers. Uh, I'm going to go and sign out now. This is a cool little uh, console. I enjoyed the restoration, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. So, uh, see you next time. Between two hiding the face